Good afternoon. Today is the 21st of May and this is the 2022 Retro Rides Weekender at the Goodwood Circuit in uh, West Sussex. This is part six of a slightly shambolic shuffle. I do apologise in advance if I get things wrong, if I fall over, um, if I just generally make a hash of it. Um, if I get interrupted by announcements, there's lots of announcements here today which is very annoying. Um, for filming it's not annoying for everyone else but it's just uh, for me trying to film. And uh, it's just the way it goes on this channel, I'm afraid. 1957 Ford Fairlane. Uh, the Skyliner um, electric hardtop version was actually used in Thunderball of these. Interesting wheels on this. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in real life before. Mini van that's been um, modified quite extensively. Do apologize for the wind noise as well, viewers, just the way it goes on this channel. 1986 ready 7 Ford Capri 2 litre laser, very late laser. Capri production entirely stopped in December 86, so quite a late just in terms of all Capris. Mark II Golf GTI big bumper. I think this is a Mark 1 Golf GTI, this is a facelifted one, um, that registration could be slightly sort of wrong but yeah this could be a campaign actually if it's got these wheels on it so about 83 maybe rather than the sort of 79-80 plate that's actually on the car. I don't know what this is, is this a, I don't know what this is at all. Clue. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a skyline. Is that an R33 viewers? Who knows? Um, Dutch registered Toyota Stoll. I've actually got a review of one of those um, on my channel. They're all one litre GLs over here on uh, no budget reviews. BMW E30 Touring. <laughs> the number of E30 I've seen today is ridiculous viewers. Not as many as E36s, but nevertheless a lot. This is a um, relatively late one. 93, 94 registration. Mini from 87 to 88, although Austin Cooper is not what this car should be wearing at all. Uh, Mini 1330, popular um, modification to the um, to the A series. There's the drifting competition happening in the background. I'm going to have to get out of here quite soon and move to somewhere a little bit, a little bit quieter, I think, for points. The purposes of noise. 1977 to 78 Ford Escort Mark II. Don't know what variant this is. 1980 only Escort Mark II. This is a four door. The two liters, so it'll have the probably RS2000 engine in it. 2000 Honda Integra. Uh, DC2 Type R. They were sold in this country for a brief time. They were quite expensive. I think they were something like £18,000, which was a lot of money at the time. 1994 to 1995 Peugeot 106 Slalom Special Edition. Although that looks more like it's been converted to sort of GTI or Rally spec. 1987 to 88, Volkswagen Golf CL. Oops, crazy drifting going on there. I'm afraid there's no track action being filmed by me, viewers, so I'm leaving that to people who are a bit more competent than I am at these sort of things. Another Mark II Golf here. Not, this isn't a GTI either, actually. So, yeah, another, another CL. But those lights are. Um, aftermarket ones, 89.90 registration. Right, let's uh, go into the next area and see what we can find there. 1972 to 73 MGB GT with an automatic gearbox. I don't see many automatic MGBs actually. That's interesting. Alfa Romeo 33. Wow, these are rare. 1989 to 90 registration. Absolutely far from standard, like a lot of the stuff that's here today. It's pretty extraordinary. 
R32, I believe this sounds Skyline, 1989 to 90 registration. I'm going to have to keep talking over the commentary. There's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately, viewers. If, um, Toyota, Toyota Crown Estate Athlete, 2002 registration. That is, uh, that is quite extraordinary. Right, because we're going to have to just uh, keep going because it's relatively quiet around here to run apart from those um, announcements which are to do with the drifting competition that I'm not actually going to be filming. So Renault Extra Van with the Renault 5 GT Turbo engine, 1988 to 9 registration. Um, Renault Extra, I've not seen one of these in a, in a while. Volkswagen Caddy based on the Skoda Felicia platform actually. Again, someone's put a different steering wheel on this and also thrown in the 20 valve turbo engine which is to be one of the most popular conversions here today. Uh, a couple of these uh, uh, T4 Volkswagen vans, I don't really know much about them so it's going to keep going. Another one, Dahatsu Hijab, the second one I've actually seen in today. This one's a, this one's a 2000. Um, don't see too many of these sort of around actually anymore. All the Suzuki Supercar or something like that. Nissan Vanette, quite a late one of this generation. Um, those wheels I think are off a 200SX or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, 19, 1991. Honda Civic Shuttle, um, 1988 to 89 registration. Um, some of these were four wheel drive actually, or I don't know about this one. Um, Series 3 Land Rover, it's probably, sorry, Land Rover Defender, it's probably got a forbidden fuel engine in it, so we'll keep going. Um, Mark III uh, Ford Transit that um, made just up the road from where we live in, uh, in Eastleigh, a, a place called Swaveling, which is actually just across the M27 in Southampton from Eastleigh. Bay Window Volkswagen, two Bay Window Volkswagens, two very slammed Bay Window Volkswagens. Uh, 78 79 registration. And this one's a bit earlier, 69 to 70 registration. Toyota Space Cruiser. Wow, I've not seen one of these in some considerable time, viewers. Uh, Model F Space Cruiser, it actually says on the side of it. I don't know what that actually means, if that's a trim level or something like that. But yeah, it's a GL, so 1989 to 90. These rusted like crazy and were also very unstable. So it's very not surprising you don't see too many of these anymore. Fiat Multipler, I'm not sure what engine's in this. It says a Bart on the back, so maybe someone's dropped an Abart engine into this, this Multipler and sort of redesigned the front end quite comprehensively. This, I think, is a, a Toyota, um, known as a sort of Scion. I, I can't remember what the, the uh, model name is for this, really. Is it Scion? Yeah, Scion XB. I can't remember what year that is. Another one of these... Uh, um, Toyota Mark II's BLIT, I don't know what that means. Again from 2002, I can't believe it's uh, <laughs> seeing so many of these here. Um, the Fortuna. This looks like a Nissan Vanette, but it's some Japanese domestic market thing, and I'm not actually sure what this is. Uh, Nissan Largo. So there you go, uh, 97, 98 registration. Volkswagen Polo Fox, uh, this is a Mark II facelift, 1991 to 92 registration, all very basic. This one's got a five speed gearbox in it though, so that might have the engine swapped or just somebody paid for the fear five speed gearbox option back in the day. 1980 to 81 Mini pickup, this one's had a different front end put on it, just like the Mark I Mini, slightly windows. House style door handles and the exposed hinges. The one that took over from this was the uh, the Metro um, van and pickup that was originally badged as a Morris. E30 BMW 3 Series Touring for the umpteenth time today. There's so many of these here, it's unbelievable. Um, Volkswagen Caddy Mark 1 with, I think, an engine conversion in it. That looks, again, especially like one of these um, 1.8 20-valve engines. Uh, it's a very, very popular um, 
conversion for these. You have that drifting in the background, another one of these caddies. I wonder if this is a more standard one, I don't know. Um, 89.90 registration on this one. The bonnet is closed, so I haven't got a clue. Oh, we can't talk about that one, viewers. We talk about that one, though. Uh, 92.93 registration. Toyota Starlet. I think this is one of the last rear wheel drive starts, but someone's put a Honda VTEC engine in it, so that would be rather fast, I should imagine. Yes, the original interior has gone a long time ago. Another one of these uh, E30 BMWs, absolutely millions of these. I presume M52 means it has an M52 engine in it. Um, that looks like a V8 engine in this Mark III Cortina. Uh, Mark 3 Cortina GT presumably, about 1973 I think, 5 speed gearbox has been dropped in it, right I'm talking even more loudly, 1982 to 83 Ford Sierra 2 litre, I'm not actually sure uh, what engine is in this because it's had a gearbox in it that they shouldn't have had originally because I can see where reverse is and um, that wouldn't have been around at the time, it would have had a type 9 probably in it originally. 1996, 1997, Mazda MX-5 um, NA, that's uh, probably a Japanese spec one because of the number plate, 1980 to 81, um, Mini Clubman with, I think one of these, <laughs> one point eight twelve thousand Volkswagen engines at the back, but I could be wrong, um, it's something else entirely, also, I still remember Club Band, interesting. Mark 5 Ford Fiesta with some crazy engine upgrade in it. That's definitely not what it would have come with originally. Ooh, 1999 Alfa Romeo 916 GTV Coupe with a Busso. <laughs> That's very nice, viewers. You like that kind of thing. And red leather interior, too. 19 89 to 90 Nissan 200SX, not a Sylvia, that was a Japanese domestic market. This one is a UK market one, and it's got a turbo 16 valve engine, excellent. 2000 Honda Prelude, one of the last Preludes ever made. Uh, it's a 2.2 VTI with VTEC. Um, obviously body kit on this one, and carbon fibre effect bonnet, and all kinds of other exciting things. But I would like to drive one of those at some point, actually, viewers. 1989 to 90 Volkswagen Mark II uh, Scirocco. This is the GT2, the third GT2 we've actually seen today. And with these uh, blacked out rear lights, it's quite popular at the time. Another one of these E30 BMWs, there must be breeding here. There's absolutely masses of E30s here. Not really surprising though, this is an 89 to 90. Uh, late Mark 1 Golf, um, 83, 84 registration. Um, I don't know what this would have started out as, but now it's been very... Oh, oh. No, 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 viewers. We don't talk about those on this channel. Right, um, 1981 to 1982 Golf Mark 1 facelift. Ooh, Golf Cabrio. What registration is this? 1980 to so still within the Mark 1 standard production, but Mark 1 Cabri is conceded, but it's about 1993, I think. About 93. Uh, this one, ugh. that number plate's on the wrong way around, but if, uh, okay, it could be, I suppose it could be about 1990, because they conceded in 93, so there we go. That one, I think, has had a different engine, but oh, it's a G60, excellent. It's about an Audi S4 viewer, it's a first generation. Audi S4, it most probably is. I think it's the, called the, this is the B5 generation. 1999, um, what they call a Swindon Civic 5 door. Uh, same basic platform as the uh, Rover HHR416 and many of the same components as you can see in there. Mark 1 Fiesta would have started life as, I don't know, an L or something with those uh, house tooth seats. Now, who knows what uh, lurks beneath? Yes, an L. 77 78 registration. Chevrolet Chevelle or Chevelle by Chevrolet. 
Um, 71 72, this is a match that should be on Malibu. Excellent. I, I can't remember if they still make the Malibu or not. I don't remember. Another one of these 200 SXs. Again, same sort of year, 1989 to 90. This uh, MG, MGB GT is a very late one. Would have had rubber, would have had rubber bumpers originally. 1980 to 81 registration, although they stopped production in 1980, so 1980 only. Um, this Cavalier SRI is beautiful. I'm going to have to stand a bit back for it to this commentary. Um, 1989 to 90 uh, Cavalier SRI, early Mark III with headlamp wiper action. Alfa Romeo 105 Series Coupe, um, 1967 on an E. I've actually driven one of these for a few years. I didn't drive it on my channel, but I did a walk around about 2019. It was a 71 GT Junior with a 2000 engine in it. Uh, what's this? A Toyota Chaser or something, is it? Club 1JZ. Yes, it's definitely a Toyota with a 1JZ in it. So there, there we go. I don't know if that um, 90 registration is correct. Who knows? F D Mazda RX um, 2001 plate. That's way after they've officially imported those. Oh, this, this sprite's moved. It's strange. Right, let's keep going then. 1990 only. Ford Escort. I think this is an RS Turbo actually. This. That is uh, rather nice. It is an RS Turbo Series 2. Very late one. 1966 Sunbeam Alpine Series 5. Yes, very nice series. We're in the little red room section now. Um, Mini, I'm not sure when this is from actually, this Mini. And by the gentleman by John Leakey apparently. Oh, it's not that old at all. It's an 83 84 registration with older rear lights on it. Another Ralph Romeo 33. Is this a clover leaf? I recognise that gear lever from when I drove um, an Alfa Romeo 90. Uh, 88 89 registration. Uh, late Mark II Golf. This is probably a driver, I think, or something like that. Yes, it is a Golf driver. 1991 registration, actually, in 91. Porsche 944, that, that number plate is a 6768, so I don't know what year this is. I like those alloy wheels, viewers, they look uh, very standard to me. Very early uh, Mark 1 Ford Escort with a dog bone grille, um, 600GT. Um, was that a model they sold? Presumably, presumably it was, or maybe it's an aftermarket thing. Uh, 6869 registration. Oh yes, this is a car that... Uh, I thought I was going to see 1998 or could be 99 Peugeot 306 Rally owned by a gentleman by the name of Jason I believe this one that is rather nice actually look at the uh, shine on that 1992 to 1993 Volkswagen Polo Mark II facelift um, that's a Genesis it looks a bit like a G40 but it's not that's just a Genesis Free facelift Mark II Polo here. This is a bread van. Um, 80, 89 registration. I have driven one of these actually on Sensible Second Hand Classics. This um, uh, pre facelift Mark II bread van. 1997 1998 Mazda MX3. I wonder if this is the V6 model. There's a sort of some brochure stuff. Yeah, you could get in this country the 1.6 or 1.8. 1.8 was a V6. Um, I don't know how to differentiate between the two of them though. Uh, what is the V6? Oh, yes, please, viewers. And 1989 to 1990 Isuzu Piazza Turbo. Oh, viewers. <sighs> it's an automatic as well. And look at those ridiculous, completely incomprehensible controls. This, if you can believe it, it's actually based on the same platform as the Vauxhall Chevette. I don't think I'll ever see one of these videos, but that is um, rather nice. Another uh, NA MX-5. Uh, this one is, I don't know, some kind of personal plate. This is an, an F registration, which is too early for the car. So, I don't know. Actually, it's, actually it's a UNOS. It's a Japanese version. Honda NSX. Mm -hmm. 1990 
a 1 to 90 T, but this one's a manual, so I'll have no power steering on it, I don't think. I think any of the autos at this time had the power steering, so quite an early one. Uh, Bournemouth plate, I think, on that one. Ooh, another Mark II Polo, this one is a... Oh, we've got actually uh, a uh, registration document to say it's an 85, okay. It's Polo Coupe. No trim level. Toyota Celica, 1991 to 1992 registration, 2 litre GT16. One of these, uh, e, I don't know, EF, I think they call them, these Civics here. These are valuable cars, they're like the EG one next to it. Um, 90 to 91 registration, that's a GL. 16 valve engine, people with probably a D series in there. Um, 1994, 1995 EG Honda Civic. I have driven an EG Civic, but the one I drove was uh, actually an automatic one. Uh, so, yes, not quite as fancy as that one. 1990 to 1991 Fiat Uno um, Turbo IE facelift. Oh, okay, so it's uh, 1990, a very early Mark II, which is uh, interesting. Ooh. 1989 to 1990, Volkswagen Jetta GTI 16 valve. Yes, I, I prefer the Jettas to the Golfs, if I'm honest with you. It's probably because my parents actually owned a Mark One, a Mark One Jetta when I was growing up. I didn't realise you only got <laughs> wind-up windows in that. That's crazy. Um, Audi or Quattro. Um, registration's not, uh, I don't think, lining up with um, the uh, year of the car, though. Another one of these 306 rallies. This is the third one I've seen. I mean, uh, Jason, who's one of my viewers, owns one of these, but I don't know, I can't remember which one it is. They're all red, and I've seen three today. So, yeah, so 99, that one. Uh, TVR, I think this is a Griffith, actually, this one. Um, from what I can, what I can remember, um, the um, feature show in the back. Yeah, it's a Griffith. It'd be about 1990. I think those are Ford Escort Estate and Mark IV rear lamps. This is like it is. 1984 to 1985, Rover 3500 Vitesse manual. Yes, excellent viewers. We uh, like that kind of thing. Very, very much. So I was saying earlier on about the uh, um, Martin Golf Cabrio continuing into about 1993. Well, this is a 1993 registration. It's a very, very late Mark One. this one. Although various bits in here far from a Mark II. Still got the uh, sort of older rear lights right away till the end. Another one of these, sir. Uh, another one of these here with uh, what looks like a beige leather interior. See, I approve of that because we I do like a nice space different interior on this channel. 1990, 1983 to 84, Volkswagen Golf GTI Mark 1. A very late one, because actually the uh, Mark 2s did come in on an A plate. That one's off. We missed a couple of things uh, actually uh, within the, in the, in the car park earlier on. 1976 to 77, um, boogie van, some kind of. Is that a Chevy? I think so. Uh, yes, it's a Chevy Caravan. Another Ski Nose Passat 1991-92 registration. Yeah, B3 Passat, yeah, Ski Nose. That's it. Why do we take rear wiper off? It's very useful in this state to have a rear wiper. It's for GL. Um, S124 Mercedes Benz. Don't know what engine is in that. Oh, the announcement is gone. Thank goodness for you. I can relax a bit now. Right. Um, another one of these uh, Chevy vans. 85 for 86 registration on this one. Do they call these like day vans here? Is this the sort of thing that you're supposed to, supposed to use that for? Uh, 1952. Don't know what this is. 1952 something. Uh, 1993 to 1994 Subaru Brat. I think that's what they were called even over here. Um, this one's had some funny extensions put on it. That's another sort of old Chevy. Right, let's go back into the sort of red area and do the centre section of that as well. 
that Saab we've seen earlier today, actually I think it was in like part one or two or something. Um, 1991 to 1992, Peugeot 205 XS. This is the facelifted one with the different rear lights. 1977 to 78, Triumph Spitfire 1500. With nice wooden dash. Same engine as the Dolomite SE we would have seen um, earlier on, I think that was in part five. A car that I used to own, an example of those. Another 1991 to 1992 um, Honda Renesec. This one's got cruise control and manual gearbox. I don't think we've had power steering though, actually, originally. Maybe if you're out in the sun, you don't need things like that. 1994 to 1995 Toyota Supra Mark IV with the six speed gearbox in this one. It's a UK spec car? Don't know, uh, possibly not. 1983 to 84 Audi 80 Quattro. So, not every Audi of this time was just a Quattro. 80 Quattro, or you know, possibly think like it was a 90 Quattro. This, I think, is the facelifted one of these. I think this is a B280. Um, same kind of platform and longitudinally mounted five cylinder engine as the Audi Quattro, though. Right, let's move on to the next area. Ooh, what is this? 1997 Silver SSC Stylus. I've never seen one of these before. Built, yeah, it's 2 litre twin cam Z tech engine, five speed gearbox. Must be based on something, or perhaps this is just a, I don't know, a, a, a completely bespoke, bespoke um, first size plate or something, MX5 door handles. 1986, 1987, Ford Capri, 2 litre laser. Gosh, we've seen loads of these today, haven't we, guys? I've seen a boatload of those. Um, some of these cars we've actually seen before in the, the other area. We're going to just sort of move past the ones that have been, have been out, which we've seen. We'll just have a look at some more of these that we haven't quite seen yet. Ooh, Mark II, Vauxhall Cavalier, it's probably a GSI. Gosh, this is from the sort of days of touring cars. Is it Cavalier GSI? Mark 1 Ford Mondeo? It's like a Paul Radisic type one. Another E36, 3 Series Coupe. Mark 3 Capri. Mustang about 67, something like that. Mark 1 Ford Escort, 1966. Ford Cortina Mark 1. Might be a Lotus one, I don't know. Ooh. Alfa Romeo GTV. Very nice. In fact, it's a V6. Another one of these uh, Mark 3 3. That one's got a wide body on it. 1967 Hillman M. Ooh, a Ford Granada. Mark 2 Gear Estate. With the chin spoiler. 83, 84 registration. I wonder if this is a Gear X. Should take a look. Yes, it is a 2.8 Gear X. I have it driven one of these. It's a 82 belonging to Mr. Colton, rubbish mechanic. Keeps in excellent condition. 1995, 96, BMW 34, 5 Series. Later steering wheel, later um, wing mirrors. I what specification this is. I have no idea. Ooh, another Volvo 240. I wonder if this is a GLT. That engine is not the standard red block that um, would have originally gone into the car. It's just a GL, but it's had some modifications, I think. I think we've seen this before at some stage. Mark III Escort, but looks like it. Um, Hasn't got anything to do with the way it came out of the factory. Triumph Dolomite with two doors. 1972 to 73 registration. Mark II Escort. 1975 76 registration. Another Mark II Escort. There's that Capri again. And uh, at the back. Another Dolomite, probably a Sprint, I should think. That's the sort of thing we like, viewers. Very, very, very tasty indeed. 
Yes, it's a sprint. Beautiful. Right, viewers, nearly finished for today, but we need to just do these final bits. Alfa Romeo, if this is a. a I guess a Giulietta. Ford Falcon. Only 64 Futura. I don't know what that Citroen C2 is doing here. Yeah? Triumph Spitfire, you can see how the front front end lifts up, lifts up like that. Uh, J, so I think that'll be a Mark 3. Porsche 356. Another one of these uh, A36s. You see this BMW uh, 2000 CS before. That's a bro taking a Volvo 940 on the track. Unos Roadster. BMW 2002, Hillman Imp. Unsafety car, 1992-3, Jaguar XJ40 Sovereign. Triumph Stag, the only one I've seen of these so far. That's uh, that's pretty crazy. I've not seen a, tri not seen a Stag at all today. Oh, Nissan Silvia, wow. That's, uh, that's pretty good for yours. I appreciate the fact we're allowed to just walk around the sort of grid and just pick up things we like. Uh, Honda CRX Mark II, 1988 to 89. 1987 to 88, Volkswagen Golf GTI 8 Val Plus. I wonder what Plus gets you. BW 7 Series, 1997 to 1998. As in Tomorrow Never Dies, actually this is an Alpina, it's an Alpina version, wow, <laughs> another one of these E30s, this actually might be an M3, just left hand drive, uh, don't know what this is, oh it's got a Westy front end that, uh, that is uh, pretty fast, Peugeot 306 like rally raid type thing, was an Austin A35 but not anymore, W30 Toyota MR2. Another one of these uh, Chevrolet Chevelles, I think, uh, from the early 70s. 1990 to 1991, Vauxhall Astra uh, GTE. Yes, it is, and someone's put a six speed gearbox in it as well. Did you dash? Excellent. Um, some kind of old Ford pickup. Peugeot. If anything, it's possibly the Volvo. 306. Oh, yeah. 1998. Volvo 940. There we are again. It's going to be a brave person taking on the track. 1970 71. MGB. MG Midget, sorry. This is like a Fiat 127. Fiat 127? Yeah. 1975 76. Fiat 127 Special. 1971 to 72, Gilbert Invader. Wow, that's pretty special. Right, let's just pause a second, viewers. Let's get the other side. 1974-75, Hillman Imps. Quite a late one, actually. Very late one. Oh yes, I think this is uh, the one from uh, this is James Martin's video from JM on Cars. 1990-1991, Toyota Carina 2, 1.6 XL. Windsor. I actually did a review of one of these back on the uh, No Budget Reviews last year. I, one of my drove was a, was, a, was a hatch actually rather than a saloon, but it was a 1.6 XL like uh, like this one. Ooh, 2F320S. This will have the, like, the <laughs> really old engine in it. Looks like the 900cc engine in it. Uh, it's quite a late one of these. Um, 1997 to 98, so quite a late one. So Teichenda came in 98. Ford Mustang 67, very early 944, that's an 82 83 registration, it came in in 82, so a very early one. And then uh, an FD RX7, and we'll just see some Sylvia pop up headlamp action, and we'll go over there and not get run over. Right, viewers, we've reached the very last section for today. We'll be back tomorrow, of course. Uh, some kind of old Chevy. Thing. I don't know, 55 Chevy uh, station wagon, 1972 to 73, 
Mazda RX4, I think. Yeah, Mazda RX4, the second RX4 I've seen today. The fourth I hadn't ever seen, I've seen no Mazda RX4s, and today it's the second one I've seen, and it's got a beige interior, although well, it's vinyl, not leather, so we can't get too excited, viewers. Wow, 1991 from 1992, Mitsubishi Colt GLX. That's, um, that's extraordinary. I do like that, viewers. Ooh. 1996 to 7, Suzuki Swift GTI. I didn't realize I saw the GTI this late with the uh, Suzuki Swift, but this is because it's a Colter, so it's an imported one. And uh, that's why it's just that late, so that'll be uh, quite quick. 1975 to 76, Vauxhall Chevette with the steering wheel. I had a, like a, I don't know, was it Opel Manta steering wheel? And it's also got a rev counter of things. It's a bit more serious. I know, sorry, but it's an Opel Cadet, it's Opel, Opel Cadet City. Sorry, the hatchback is the city. Forget to see hatchback. It's not a Chevette, but it rear ended the same. Do apologise, viewers. Uh, 1996 to 7 BMW um, M3 Coupe, I think this would be. Certainly looks like it. 1990 to 1991 Volkswagen Golf. It's probably a driver. It's not a GTI, I don't think. No, it's not. Ooh. 1996 97, Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 4. Nineteen seventy-eight to seventy-nine Mini Clubman. That uh looks rather nice. Nineteen sixty-six Ford Anglia. I don't think this is a super, although this has probably had a different engine put in it, I think. From the, the uh, standard Kent. 1968 to 69, uh, Renault 4. Interesting. Uh, more plates. Right, keep going, it's almost there. 1983 to 84, Toyota Celica 2 litre ST. Not a Celica Supra, just a Celica. Final row here. 1990 to 94, Nissan 300 uh, ZX. This is to get that right, there's the club sticker in there. The Mini we've seen before. 1986 to 87, Ford Capri Mark III with a Cosworth engine put in it and a different gearbox and an RS steering wheel. Fergie 306 Rally, fourth one we've seen today. Another one of these have been W2002s. Don't know what, uh, what it's from, I think we've seen it before. And 1983 to 84 Rover 3500S. Final car, 2000 Honda Integra DC2 Type R that we've seen before. Right, that's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you ever so much indeed for watching this part six of a slightly shambolic shuffle around the retro rides we can 2022. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. It all very much helps out. I'm going now to, uh, I think, have a drink of water.